In this workshop, what we're going to look at is resolution of the image or the detail of the image. So we're going to do the same as we did in the last workshop. But we're going to do something slightly different this time. We're going to go over to the tool and we're going to go and add the sphere 3D. We're going to drag this out and we're going to come across to edit. Now we're going to go across to our tab on the right hand side and we're going to go down to what's called initialize. So this at the moment is not something that you can sculpt in on ZBrush. But we're going to change that in a second to make this, this sphere have the ability to be sculpted on. We're going to need to convert it into what's called a poly mesh 3D. Before we do that, we can set an initial resolution for this model. So I'm going to come down to initialize and I'm going to put in 8 inside of H. Then I'm going to hit the enter key. Notice this has changed. It's going to give me 8 sides. I'm going to do for the V divide, I'm going to put that to 8 and I'm going to hit enter. Now if we look around the model by navigating that we learned how to do to in the last lesson, you can see now it hasn't got it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And down here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So that has given me this divide on here. Now, if I try to sculpt on this, nothing's going to happen because you're going to get a warning message come up. So what we've done so far, even though we've gone into edit, is we've changed the initial way that the sphere looks by going into initialize. And you can use initialize on all of the tools inside here when you first bring them in. You can change them using initialize. This sets you up with a nice low resolution model, but it doesn't enable you to sculpt on it. We cannot sculpt on it using the standard brush here until we can turned it into what's called a poly mesh 3D. We're going to do that now. It's really easy. We just hit make poly mesh 3D. You're going to see this will change color. I've got poly mesh. I've got poly frame turned on there that allows me to see all of the polygons. Now I want to explain what all of these parts are on this model. So we have what's called points or vertices in the corner of each of these little blocks you can see and then we also have edges these run down here okay so all of the edges are down here now this main face is just called a face or a polygon so we try to keep our models as four-sided if we can so this is a polygon okay so we've got the polygon face we've got the edges and we've got the points in the corner or the vertices. And this is in effect a low resolution model, meaning there's not much detail. If I turn the polyframe off, we're now able to sculpt with this. So if I make my brush size bigger by coming up here, I can actually start to sculpt, but you're gonna notice that we haven't got much detail. So when I do sculpt, it goes and looks a little bit weird. So we need to put more resolution into this model, okay? This is really important that we put more resolution into the model. So I'm gonna leave the polyframe off. I've just turned fill off here as well. And we're going to just add resolution. And then we're able to use all of our brushes that we have access to down here. There's loads of brushes to use. So let's add more resolution into it. So once you've made it a poly mesh 3D, we're going to come down to the geometry and we are going to click in here, divide. Now, when I hit divide, watch what happens to the model. Straight away, we have more faces. And if you look at our poly frame, it's actually divided it in four. So that face has now got four polygons inside it. So every time you divide here, you go up by a factor of four. So if I was to divide again, you're gonna see I'll have even more. Now, if I turn this off and back on again, you can see all of those polygons in there and all of those faces. So we're adding more detail. But the beauty of this is we can come back down through these levels using this geometry. So I still have a low resolution model, but I'm adding more detail into it. So now, because I have a more 
resolution on my model when I use something like the standard brush here and I change that draw size down I can actually start to sculpt properly on the model you see now let's go up really high let's divide it again again and again and one more time so I'm up to seven so if I now go and start to sculpt on this I'm going to get a much better more sculptural effect now remember I can still come down through these and come back up again through the resolutions so I can go through those resolutions and I can even sculpt at those resolutions and then move it back through so I have control of going up and down what's called my subdivision levels and so this is the principle of adding detail into ZBrush we have a low resolution model and we can create high resolution mesh to be able to sculpt and give us really clean effects on the model. So play around with this now at the high resolution by playing around with the different brushes. We're gonna look at those later, but this is the understanding of how ZBrush works. So we add different levels. Now, if we go into the subtools here, you can see if we mouse over, this is this subtool here, and we can add more tools to here so we're going to talk about these later but if I mouse over this for now you're going to see some information appear down here and it says polys 20 what 212,992 polygons and it says points 212,994 points and this is how many polygons or these we have on the surface now they're so small you cannot even see them see them in there we zoomed right in so what happens if I bring it down the resolution let's bring it right down to this lower resolution let's mouse over this now now you can see it says 56 polys so obviously more polygons you add depends on the system that you're using how powerful your PC is so if you've got a really powerful PC you can actually add more subdivision levels and make it more detailed on the model so it's something to bear in mind if you have lots of subtools in here and they all have millions of polygons it's going to slow the machine down maybe if you're using a slower machine so you need to be careful of this when you're working inside ZBrush but this is resolution and adding resolution and what we call subdivision levels inside of ZBrush. So understand that we can come up and down through these resolutions uh, to add more detail into any of the models that you are sculpting.